Right, what we're going to talk about now is three axes of space. This little do over here. It's a bit common in all the drawings I've done thus far. Uh, and what that's trying to do is get rid of the idea of having to draw a horizon line with vanishing points on the page. Because inevitably what happens is we get distortion occurring because of vanishing points that are too close together. So when I draw my little object there, what we do is get end up with is gross convergence. So these lines here end up being very, very triangular. As we put our vanishing points further apart, the convergence becomes softer. Drawing a little box, convergence becomes less, and then of course expand right off the page here. Very vanishing points, same sort of thing. We diminish the amount of convergence. Problem is with all of this is that, as you can see, I'm starting to run out of paper to do my vanishing points. So what we use is the three axes of space to try and remove that idea of having vanishing points. I'm just going to use this paper. So three axes of space generally are drawn with the idea that we're drawing just below the horizon line. So in this case, with the horizon lines here, we generally draw about in this position here. We could draw here, or we could draw way down here, or here, but it's around this position here that we're drawing our objects, and I'll show you why that is. When we draw a long way below the horizon line, we start to get convergence, which does tend to look make the object look like it's very, very big. So this is typically what you might see if you're drawing a skyscraper. The other way, if we go too close to the horizon line, we can't see very much of the object. So it becomes very difficult to show much of the top or the bottom. But there's a Goldilocks spot that's about just right, which is about here in the horizon line, that puts us in a position where we can see the object or most of the object. Clearly, you can see the top here, top in view, front view, relatively easy. So too far below the horizon line, too close to the horizon line, just right. So back to our three axes of space. Following that same theme, if we draw a three axes of space that looks like that, you might see that that really is the corner of a box. But in that Goldilocks zone, the horizon line, no, I don't have any vanishing points. If I draw my three axes of space too flat, that means that we've got our object too close to the horizon line. So as you can see, a whole lot less of my box or the top part of my box is visible. And if I draw my three axes of space like that, that means it's too far below the horizon line because we've got that gross convergence. So just right, too close to the horizon line, too far below. So they're the things that we're looking for when trying to replicate this image.